Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends all across the globe today. My name is Leaf, and as always, it is so wonderful to have you guys here. Back in Mega Aquarium, yes, we are finally back in this game. I know it's been quite some time since our last episode came out. In the last episode, we finally finished off the Pacific Hall. Who knows? We'll actually go back there pretty soon. Maybe, who knows? I'm not going to promise anything. But today, I really wanted to do a Ray kind of haul. Not really a haul, but more like a room. Yeah, that makes sense. Ray room. Ray room mono. Yeah, that, that's a good... That's, we should really dedicate this to Ray Romano, honestly. Now, with that being said, I really did just want to have a couple tanks in here. I think we ended up on three. I feel like that is a wonderful amount right there. I'm just going to bring the mic a little bit closer to my face because it looks like my audio levels are still kind of quiet. It's very late right now and I just want to go to bed. But with that being said, I still have to get this out for you guys. So I am over here just working with all the new mod pieces I just downloaded. I love all the new floors, all the new panels, and all the new everything that I found on the workshop. Definitely do check it out. Like there's some of like the first things that you can actually find when you type in like wall sets or anything like that and I just want something that feels nice clean and modern in here nothing too crazy yet I definitely do want to get some like fresh water stuff happening soon that's gonna be super fun when we actually get to that but for the time being just keeping it nice keeping it very bare bones and very dark too because I don't know it just really helps it accentuate the color of the animals I feel like that is a good contrast right there so of course one of my biggest issues is actually the selection for the terrain tools and stuff like that I wish it were just a little bit easier maybe like maybe increasing the size of the UI just so it's a little bit easier maybe having the UI actually stick up and stay on board when you're actually using it but hey listen this game is pretty much complete so who am i to judge now with that being said though just getting everything else looking pretty nice over here and actually setting up the entire hallway down here so the hallway will lead to all the other exhibits and i will have like the offshoots off of the hallways i feel like that works pretty well as a way to kind of guide the guests through and kind of guide them to whatever exhibits they're going to. I don't know, I'm just very happy with how well this came out. I forget what kind of floor I landed on in the main hallway, but I really want to do a carpet. Maybe that's what I'll do later on. I'll go find like some carpet tiles that I could use. I feel like they might be pretty good for an exhibit like this. Not even exhibit, but I do like the mahogany floor that I kind of chose right there. It's nice and bright and it works. I don't even know if I keep that good down the line. And I also had that big tank in the back, which I actually don't even use for rays at all. This is actually more like a shark exhibit with which kind of makes sense. So I have the Wabagongs over there, which technically aren't sharks. They're just kind of like co-evolved next to them. So they kind of look the same, if that makes sense. I don't really know. I don't know my fish too well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I still do love the look of fish. And also, I do all the backstage kind of like with this beautiful new tile. I think it's called the Portofino tile, and it looks absolutely amazing. And I got rid of all the roofs over there just because I know I'm going to need to get back there pretty often. And just being able to access that is so much easier than anything else. And I also forgot to put the paths back there too, so it's all, it really all played out the same for me, so I'm happy with how that came out. Now, of course, just getting the last little details in the Pacific Point done over there. And coming back over here to our little Ray Romano tanks. Yes, I, that's what I'm calling it now, guys. There's no going back. This is the Ray Romano Aquarium. I know some people might be upset about that, but I think it's pretty fine. Adding some bathrooms over here. I have been neglecting our guests for quite the longest time. So I think I may actually try and do like a little bit of a food court for them too. Just as a ways to kind of build up like guest happiness, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I think I may do a food court slash cafe right across from the Rays. I think that might be pretty cute, but we'll see when we actually get there. And of course, my lips are still dry, uh, in case if anyone was following the saga of Leaf's lips. They are dry, crusty, and very much in need of chapstick right now. 
but doing the rest of the decoration over here i found these beautiful little fences i'm not sure if these came in the architects collection but they work so well over here and we can actually paint them too so they actually fit a beautiful brownish color that is the japanese wall set i think that's a new one that i got off the workshop but the tank was in the way so i had to temporarily move the tank which is a little bit of a problem but we got that all sorted out nonetheless and I think it actually did get delinked from the filters. So later down the line, I will have to have like a reorganization episode where I make sure all my animals are happy and don't die off. And so I don't need to keep replacing them. Yeah, that's gonna be really fun. Who's excited for that? Totally me. And I gotta get some more interior decorations as well. I love these plants. I gotta get more signs. And if there aren't any signs on the workshop, I may make my own. I'm not sure. I would love to get more signage in this game. Just because signage is such an important part when you're making stuff like this. Even like wall hangings and stuff like that. We don't have any of those that I at least saw. I feel like there's definitely some like paintings on the workshop and stuff. But I kind of missed out on them. So I'm going to have to do a little sneaking around the workshop. Try and check those out later down the line. And of course adding a little bit more room in here just because our filters couldn't really link up I do have like the god filters now so if anything does need to be kept up we have those little filters to keep everyone happy and we don't need to worry about like the big ones being linked all around I don't really mind that too much but with that being said, we are almost about to end the little bit of a speed build. We'll just talk right through it. So I do add some more decorations in here as well as the exhibit design. So I add those little, um, oh my God, I love those. I forgot what I call them, animal signs. I guess you could kind of call them. And I add some rocks over here as well, just as a way to really help make the exhibits flow a lot better, make them feel like they have more purpose. And I don't know, it's just such a fun little, it's so simple to decorate in this game, but I love it. It's just so relaxing. If you guys haven't already checked this game out on Steam, definitely do check it out. I'm not sure if uh, Cyber Monday sales are still going on by the time that this video goes up, but if this is on sale, I really do recommend you guys get it. It's so freaking fun and so relaxing. It's just such a more different pace than Planet Zoo. If you are coming from that audience right there. And there I am looking at my race. Well, with that being said, I'll end this a little bit quickly here. So I can actually meet you guys in the live portion. Definitely do stick around for that. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye. Well, welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of a speed build. I know the speed builds for this game are kind of quick, but I hope you guys enjoy that. At least some of you guys, I assume you guys do. <laughs> but with that being said, welcome, guys. So obviously, as you guys can probably tell, we started a little bit of a Ray exhibit over here. So it's nothing too crazy. I also love this hallway already. It just feels so nice. So we're going to have like a bunch of different exhibition halls going on through here. Not really sure what's going to go in there. Not really sure what's going to happen down that line over there, but I'm really happy with how well this is turning out. So, of course, we have a little bit of a Ray ex exhibition hall over here. And we have our bathrooms over here. So, you know, you got your little stalls in here. You got your, all the stalls right over there. But with that being said, let's just pop right in here and I'll actually hit play. So over here, we do have the blue polka dot spotted stingray. I forget the name of it. I have red stingrays and I also have, what is the very last one? I honestly forget. I know it's something nice and chill. It's a southern stingray. So those guys are the bigger ones in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that exhibit. I saw these guys on the workshop and I was like, damn it, I gotta get these guys in here. And of course, I love these little information signs over here. It's nothing crazy, it's very bare bones, but with that being said, that's pretty nice. 
And then around here we have a little exhibit on wabigongs. While they're not exactly sharks, they do mimic them. And it's a little bit of a symbiotic, not really symbiotic, but kind of like a mimicry relationship that they have. And they have a lot of nice rock work over here, so I hope they enjoy that. And last but not least, I have this quick little exhibit over here. You guys didn't see me put these guys in, but these are Bandai Cardinal Fish. These are one of my favorites. We used to have them at my house all the time. They're just really, really beautiful animals, and I love how splendid they came out. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have over here. And then, of course, we have some backstage. I redid all the backstage work over here, so everything does have this Portofino texture. I think it comes out looking so much better. It, it just feels so much more backstagey, if that makes sense. Is that a word? I don't really know. But in the next episode, I definitely do want to make it a point to start using, if I can find them, start one to use... Where are these little guys? Hold on. I start want to start using some of these bridges and I definitely do want to have like some underground elements around here not really sure where we can actually start putting them but I think ooh, that might be kind of cool having like an upper deck and a lower deck I think we gotta do that later down the line all right you guys like the idea of that just having like this nice lower viewing gallery over here I think that's gonna turn out pretty cool can we actually I haven't really played around with this all too much can we kind of do stuff like that? I think we might be able to. Alright, maybe not, but we can definitely play around with it later down the line. But, of course, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. Okay, no, no, no. I gotta show off some, like, the awesome tanks I just found. So, there is one that I'm very excited to start using. I'll just, like, plop it down right over here. I just gotta find it. It's like a specialty tank, right? Lo, lo, lo and behold, it's going to be one that you could walk right over. It's just, I don't know where they put it, though. Like, freestanding? No, it's not wall. It's not deep wall. It's not large, definitely not. It's not huge. I was going to think it was specialty, but I'm thinking otherwise right now. Like, where would it be? Well, if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, do let me know. It's on the workshop. It's like one of the first things that you get when you actually type in tank. And yeah, I'm not seeing it right now, but I guess we could find it later down the line. We'll end it over here on the Wapagongs, why not? These guys are some of my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching. There goes my little pop-up as always. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye now.